what's up? Um, this is Trent Foster and Carson Good. Hi. Um, we're cousins and we are both survivalists and we spend basically all of our time in the woods. Um, so this is this, our equipment that we like to carry around with us. Um, all of this stuff is just stuff we've collected um, over time, you know, and it's overall I've only spent about hundred dollars on this stuff mostly just because of birthday and Christmas you know all that stuff that comes in and so I'm just gonna go through here and show off my supply list for our next camping trip which should be pretty soon all right so I'm gonna hand the camera over to Carson and he'll be uh, prompting some questions and I'll be showing off and commenting on So these are what I carry in my bag to cook with. Um, we'll drink the water in this, make rice in this one. I definitely want to keep these two separate because you don't want rice flavoring getting your drinking water. I also carry this water bottle around with me. You can put sauce and just whatever you want, I want in there. And especially water to use the water bottle. And you know, this is my machete. Me and Carson love using this machete. Um, it's great for cutting firewood. I've chopped trees down with this. And it's great because it's got a little fire starter on it. You can just do that. And it, I've started two or three fires with it because I haven't really had it that long. Um, maybe two months at the most. This is my uh, hunting knife. I've, had the, I've only had this knife for about four months, but it's actually much, much older than that. My dad gave it to me. And um, basically, use it for just about anything you might need to cut, uh, including butchering animals, uh, cutting lines, you know, just setting up generally. And this is a camp axe, which is great for cutting firewood and also clearing out areas along with the machete. And um, see, the machete is a lot sharper than this, but this is a lot heavier. So they both have their pluses and minuses. And back to the machete. See the machete has this serrated blade right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But um, it's great for whenever you're making traps. A lot, a lot of traps that you might make you have to notch. And so that's great for notching. And then you can just finish it out by carving out the rest of the notch with this. And it works very quickly and efficiently. And this also has a uh, bungee with it, doesn't it? Yeah. If you, you ever needed that. Yeah, if you're really in a survival situation, you could undo that, just untie that knot, and you have like 20, 20 uh, feet or so of bungee, hmm. which would be useful in a survival situation. Um, see, this over here is a newish tool. I got it like last week. Uh, one of my friends got it for me, and I haven't really used it yet. But I think that I will probably use it for butchering squirrels because, you know, you can slice out the insides with your little knife and then a lot of times you have to chop off the paws and the head. I think that would be the best way to do it, you know? Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold that up. Over here is my hunting stuff and I'll show you my gun toward the end of the, end of the videos. I have three of them. Hmm. Um, this is my hunting jacket. This is um, probably one of my all-time favorite things to carry with me um, because even if it's not that cold it doubles as a pillow and you don't have to carry your pillow with you I've actually slept many nights in this as a pillow and this right here is my hunting vest and orange and the orange is regulation and the little vest under it uh, my mom and dad got me you can put your shells and your uh, rifle ammo in there no problem and it, uh, it's got a little pocket in the back. You can't really see it. That's good for um, carrying your dead game. Now, this is my trail hat. I'm wearing a hat right now, but it's my, I've used this hat for just working in. But this hat is great for camping because it um, can definitely... It's best for probably summer camping because, you know, it keeps, your, it keeps the sun off of you. And... It, Probably winter camping too to keep the, um, you know, rain off of you. I also carry coffee with me because I have to have coffee with me every morning, and this actually fits really well in my pack. So, how do you make the uh, coffee? 
to make cowboy coffee because that's really the only type of coffee you can make on the trail is basically I use the same kettle I use for my rice because you don't want to use this one because it's too big you know so you basically just put your your dump some coffee in and then uh, put, put some water fill the water about up to right there and then you want to put it over your fire um, see I usually try to build my fire up around this because it doesn't really have a spot where you can hang it over I try to build the fire around it and that usually works you just want to you don't want to quite boil it you want to get very close to a boiling point you just want to basically stir it a good pretty good bit uh, this over here is my sleeping bag I don't always use it but when I do it you know, it's useful um, it's a Coleman 20 degree and above and um, it's the only thing I don't like about it, um, and I would probably wouldn't recommend this, is just because the uh, it's got like hey, you want to come over here? Person, it's got that, and that picks up like a lot of dirt and stuff, and it's really annoying to get it out, and it's hard to sleep if you got dirt poking you. Now over here is my lantern and cap light. So the cap light you can just put on a hat, you know, and it'll. You know, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. And then this right here is um, my big camp lantern. Now, me and Carson, on our most recent camp, we um, hung this up on a limb, and we just turned it on, and it lit up our whole campground, didn't it? Yep. And uh, really, the fires, they don't really give off as much light as you would think. So you definitely want something LED with you. Mm -hmm. I guess um, we'll start back over here because this is where the next most useful stuff is. So this is a survival blanket. It can also be used as a heat reflector if it gets cold enough. Uh, I saw that on uh, some videos that I like to watch. So it's um, probably going to be pretty useful. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but it looks like just aluminum foil. Yeah, um, you could probably use aluminum foil. You said I would not want to curl up and wrap up in aluminum foil. <laughs> this is a fire no, a fire starter. See, all this right here is my fire starting kit from there to here is my fire making stuff. Now this right here is pretty useful. It's probably my best fire starter. So what you do is you take this little serrated blade right here, you scrape off some of that magnesium, and you just turn the blade over. And that magnesium catches. And what you want to do, usually I, I'm not that great with the flint and steel quite, er, yet. So I, um, try to set my sparks into a uh, dryer lint, because it's very flam flammable, and a lot of times it'll burn for long enough to put your hay on top of. And I've started about nine fires using flint and steel. I'm kind of unexperienced with that. And this is just another, um, fire starter it's got a little whistle on it and a compass and you can just undo it like that and there's your flint and you just have to rise something steel on it I like this is my favorite thing to start fires with hmm. now I keep hay and twigs with me now the twigs I keep because like in the morning when you have to start your fire to cook breakfast a lot of times you won't have any embers left so and you know dew falls down in the morning um, so you definitely want something dry with you to start your fire you know because it's pretty frustrating whenever you you have to go with no breakfast because you can't get your fire started mm -hmm. me and you both know from experience and this is um, hay that I keep with me. I need to restock it. I haven't, re I haven't restocked it in a while, but I keep this hay with me. I'm not going to get it out because, you know, we're inside right now because it's hailing outside. Um, it's, it's very flammable, and it's great for, like, igniting your twigs. All right. Now, I guess we'll get over here into the cutlery and mess kit. This is what I carry with me for eating and cooking. So this right here is actually really cool. I use, I've had this for about a year now. 
and it's like, it was like one of the very first pieces of equipment I got. You just slide that on there. And then I've used this for, you can use it for measuring, um, drinking, and it's awesome for coffee because you can just put that on there and it insulates it and twist that around and you have a cool coffee cup. I use just about every time I go out. Um, let's see. So, while I'm putting this away, I'm just going to go into my and Carson's greatest adventure that got us in to hiking and camping was my mom, for our 13th birthday, got um, us tickets and um, a guide to hike the Grand Canyon in Arizona. And that was the main thing that got us into it. So this is a very useful tool. Um, it's got a fork, a spoon, a knife, and a bottle opener on it. Um, great for eating with. And it, the only thing I don't like about it is it's kind of hard to wash. You can kind of see where it's got a little rust on it from where I tried to wash it. But it doesn't really affect anything. It's just a little rust. This is my um, plate and the little lid that goes with it. it. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, my cousin had to leave and we had to go eat. But we're back now. And see, I think I was right here. Okay. So this is um, my clothesline. This is here's one of my own ideas um, it's just basically a piece of twine and some clotheslines or er, and some clothespins and a towel you just hang up and wash your clothes and I use the towel for my dishes um, this right here this is rope you never want to leave the house without rope rope is very useful um, I haven't used this yet because um, I just got it um, like today and so but I definitely will use that probably on my next trip now these, these three items right here, these are all new. I got them today on a supply run. Um, this is, these two are um, tent hammocks. So they're basically hammocks that you set up at, between two trees and you run a tarp over them to make like a little tent. Um, I haven't used them yet because like I said, I just got them recently. And these are the ropes for this one. This one, the ropes came in the bag. And this one's different from this because this has a little bug shield on it. And I bought this one just because I thought it'd be great for winter camping because it's really comfortable. It's got good padding in it, and this doesn't have any padding. It's just got that bug net. So I'll probably use this one for winter camping and that one for summer camping. Let's see. I think I've already gone over the hat. Um, this over here is the food I carry with me. Um, I carry carrots. I like carrots and oatmeal. Oatmeal is probably the most valuable, one of the most valuable things that you can carry. Um, makes a great breakfast in like five minutes. It's awesome. It's very filling and it sticks with you. Keep some almonds with me to, um, just to, for snacks, you know, and I keep some uh, beef jerky, just from, you know, like Walmart, and some tea. I like to make some tea. And I also carry lemonade because I just generally don't like water. So lemonade is takes zero skill to make, so you know. And this right here is a life straw. I got it today and I only tried it out once. And it's um you just basically stick it in the creek, take a drink drink and it purifies all the dirt and water out. Now, this right here is one of my guns that I carry to hunt with. It's a, um, it's only a pellet gun. It's a high-powered pellet gun, but it, it'll kill just about anything you want to shoot. Um, I have killed two squirrels with it so far, and these are the, uh, ammo that it comes with. And this is my tent. Um, it's, I mean, it's generally pretty good. I've had it for a while, so it's a little worn out, and... Uh, but it's it's a good tent. I've had it for about two years, and I hiked the Grand Canyon with it, and so it's you know I've had it for a while. And this is just the rain fly that goes with the tent. This is my pillow. It folds up just like that, and you can carry just about any bag you want. It's 
awesome. I've slept many, many nights on it. Now, you never want to underestimate a good pair of boots. These are my boots. Um, they are Justin work boots. Um, I got them pretty recently because I wore out my old ones. Um, but yeah, you don't necessarily have to have like hiking boots per se. Just like work boots or whatever is cheaper will work. You just don't want something, you know, that's expensive and that'll fall apart after you use them for like two weeks. And this right here I don't usually bring with me. But it's just like a little padding to keep the ground, you off the ground. And so I like to carry it along with me sometimes. And this is, these are the bags I carry. Usually I keep. Uh, most of this stuff in this bag. I keep my tent hammock in this bag, which is new. I got it on my supply run. And then I keep my sleeping bag and pillows in this bag. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, that's it for my first video. Um, I hope y'all liked it. Um, um, subscribe for more and watch the rest of my videos. Thanks.